I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this room. It feels like a whole new space, y'all. Good morning. Hello, FLLS fam, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Vlogmas. I'm Maru, lifestyle blogger and content creator, and here on the channel, I share all things home decor, beauty, fashion, and so much more, with home decor being my favorite thing to talk about. If you have not checked out my last installation um, of the Home Refresh series, the last room is complete, the bedroom. I'm sitting here and I do not want to leave my bedroom. Got up, brushed my teeth, made some coffee, and instead of going to my desk, I'm over here sitting in the nook in the window. I'll put the video in up here so that you can check that out. But my little window nook uh, is just my favorite place. I'm actually looking for a chair. Anyway, welcome to Vlogmas. I'm so happy to have you here. I have so much in store for y'all this year. We are going to be doing all the things, lots of DIY projects, lots of fashion. I have been talking about fashion hauls. I mean, I post a lot of pictures on Instagram, but I'm just not the video dress up photo shoot in the house type of person. I like to dress up and go out and take pictures. And the pandemic has made it really hard. But in any event, it's Vlogmas and so there will be no excuses. So for today's agenda, um, we're gonna go downstairs and pick up some packages. I have some holiday pajamas that are coming in. I'm going to go through the details of the um, bedding from the Home uh, Refresh Series bedroom makeover. I did link everything in the video, but I kind of want to zoom in and just show you the fabrics and the different textiles and just take you through piece by piece. That way it's easier for you to just go to the list of products in my video description box for that video and figure out, oh, that was what she was talking about. Those are the pillow covers. Those are the sheets, etc., etc. Anyway, long story short, we're going to talk about new bedding. The holiday pajamas are from Target, but I have to go to Target to pick up an order. Um, today is Wednesday the 1st. Let's talk about schedule and let's talk about Christmas decor. Your girl does not have any Christmas tree or Christmas decor up yet. And for two reasons. Um, as you know, I've been traveling back and forth. Well, not back and forth, but I just got back from Atlanta. I've been there twice since my mom left um, from staying with me. Um, because her comprehensive team of doctors are down there and it's just been one of those happy to be around family but I could care less what's going on in my apartment as far as home decor and celebrating the season as long as I'm with them and I'm celebrating I'm fine now that's not to say that I'm not gonna put up decorations because I am but I just was not pressed about you know getting in the algorithm for YouTube and putting up holiday decor and so forth can y'all see me okay y'all can see me I think the glasses made me look like 65 that maybe that's what it is but anyway I was not caught up in rushing this year um last year I don't think I rushed either I think I was moving oh my god my one year anniversary of being in this apartment is coming up or did it pass I think it passed her I think it passed but the one year anniversary of my apartment tour so we'll probably drop something like that for vlogmas um in the coming days but to go back to what we were talking about I've just been really focused on family and my mom. Um, I do have outlets and things to focus on, yes. You know, I have friends and, you know, loved ones here, um, my circle, but, well, some of my circle's still in Charlotte too. Hey, y'all. Um, but home decor, as far as the holidays, Christmas decor has not been at the forefront of my mind. Vlogmas and preparing for it, yes, it has been on the forefront of my mind. But I'm not really concerned with, well, I haven't put anything out because everybody else does. And if you're one of those people who haven't put anything up yet, I'm right there with you. It, some of us are not feeling it. Some of us are going through things and not feeling it on a given day. And then tomorrow we're like, ooh, Christmas spirit. Like, you know, team Christmas. I have just been wanting to enjoy the season and every day to its fullest. Like, let me enjoy Thanksgiving, okay? Shoot, when I do my apartment tour, it's not gonna be Christmas decor. That's what we're gonna do. Let's talk about the agenda. My apartment tour, I'm gonna drop my apartment tour for my one year anniversary in this space, or one year anniversary of the last apartment tour y'all saw. Shout out to everyone that looked at it. It was two parts, 47,000 views and 30 something thousand views. I appreciate every single one of you. However, I'm gonna put my Christmas decor up after I show my fall decor. Because we're, it's still fall. It's not December 21st and I am not conforming to any algorithms or mass pressure. But my Christmas decor is gonna be up before Christmas though. <laughs> It'll be up probably before Sunday, uh, before Sunday, Monday, okay? So 
I think that we're gonna go and pick up mail. I thought about going straight to the gym when I got up, but I had some things I needed to do because I was supposed to be presenting this week. It got pushed back to next week. Thank you, Jesus, because my anxiety has been at an all-time high as it pertains to checking in on my mom and making sure everything is okay. So I have a little bit more flexibility in my schedule in the, well, I'll probably go to the gym at the end of the day. So we'll end the vlog with that, but we need to go pick up some packages. We need to go to Target. And because I just got back from Atlanta from Thanksgiving, I need to go to the grocery store. So meal prepping is a big thing for me. And it's when I feel most success. Let me take this off because I look old with the blue light glasses on. I'm always on the computer, so I have to keep blue light glasses on. But that looks, I look even older. No doubt. All right. So I am a meal prep person and I only feel like super productive and confident going through my week when I know that my meals are planned out. And that's not one extra thing I have to step away from my, like, whatever I'm doing to go do. I like to have my meals prep or to at least know what I'm cooking for the week. So to come back from vacation and have, like, a frat house refrigerator, but sans the beer. I don't have any beer in my fridge, but it's just terrible. It's terrible. We got stuff to do, and I'm taking y'all with me. Um, let's go ahead. I need to check a couple emails before my lunch break, and then we're going to go down to check the mail, open up the packages. Yeah, let's go. Love the way it turned out y'all just a quick little run through um this body pillow amazon the bedding i think i'm gonna talk about that in a separate video um no let's talk about it now um the throw duvet shams and sheets are casa luna from target you know that the headboard is covered with the ikea curtains rifta rifta i think it's the curtains um pillow shams uh pillowcases anything black and then this sherpa um or yeah, Sherpa. Yeah, I'll call it. Yeah, Boucle or Sherpa. No, this is Sherpa. This Sherpa body pillow cover and the insert are from Amazon and the black pillowcases and shams. So it's pretty much Target and Amazon. Bed skirt is not Casa Luna, but it's from Target as well. And I'll be sure to link all the accessories, anything that I can, in the description box down below. If it's from like Ikea, curtains, candelabras. Is that what those are? Candle holders. <laughs> Um, the pompous from home goods those things that I cannot link I'll just be sure to li like you know list them down below and you can go to the store and check it out but everything else that I know is still available in stores will be linked for you this was so much fun I cannot believe this is my bedroom I really cannot believe this is my bedroom um, stay tuned for updates during vlogmas because the rug is coming um, the gray and white one that I mentioned set that back and something that is more on theme for the bedroom will be here See y'all later. I'm about to get up in this bed. No, I'm not. I gotta go work. Bye.
All right, we are back home at the crib, and I mm, I went in for a couple things. But like I said, coming back from out of town, I basically had nothing, and then what I did have, I just felt it wasn't fresh. Some things were kind of like uh, withered, lettuce, that kind of stuff, spinach, leaves, and so forth. So, oh, I didn't get spinach. I forgot to get spinach, but this is Trader Joe's. I'll probably go to Walmart and get some more produce. Um, Super Walmart on the weekend, maybe Saturday. But let's just go ahead and go through these items. I'm gonna save the little Christmas stuff over there for last. Um, if you've been following me, you've seen my Trader Joe hauls. A lot of these things are always in the rotation. So, for the holidays and for the like cold weather season, I like to get the organic creamy tomato soup. I got two of those and then some oven baked cheese bites. These are so good. Um, it's made with cheddar cheese, gluten free, high in protein. Y'all already know. The infamous buffalo dip how to get some of that um the chips were on their way out i was looking for the gluten free i think these are gluten free i was looking for the unsalted ones but they were sold out i guess from like thanksgiving and then they had like two of these left so i got some salted tortilla chips huge bag don't know if i'll eat all of it but i could probably do like hummus make some homemade hummus with my um beans that i have in the dry goods pantry so yeah we'll try to get through that bag then I got two Caesar salads I got some coffee creamer French vanilla um, underneath the chicken buffalo dip I got artichoke and jalapeno um, dip that one I like but not as I, I like it it's really good but I love the buffalo dip so it's always a two to one ratio um, what else some pineapple tidbits for my um, they're like pineapple bites uh, for my smoothies strawberries for my smoothies I know if you're following and if you've seen a Trader Joe's haul before, you know that I bought like guacamole that was supposed to be like plain guacamole because I never had an avocado and I'm going to try my very first avocado, very first avocado, peeling it, having like avocado toast. We're going to see how it goes, but you should have seen the cashier trying to explain to me how to cut it, how to, um, you know, to, to basically eat it for breakfast. I'm so excited, but we'll catch it on video because ain't no telling what the response will be. And then chicken cilantro mini wontons. These sounded interesting. I hope they taste good. What else? Um, some chicken tenders. I actually am going to make these with a stir fry. So bell peppers, green peppers, red, yellow, etc. And then this general so um, stir fry sauce from Trader Joe's over like jasmine rice. Mm, I cannot wait. So peppers and rice I already had. Then... For the first time ever, I found cut sweet potatoes at Trader Joe's. I usually go across the street to Harris Teeter to get these. Walmart sells them, but they're frozen, and eh, I wasn't too much of a fan. It's not as um, plentiful, the pack. It's like a small frozen bag. Frozen potatoes are not as good as fresh cut potatoes. So, super excited that I could buy everything I need in one place. Um, yeah, so they said that this is seasonal. I don't understand why. If the butternut squash cubes are going to be there all year round, these should be there all year round. So I'm going to have to go talk to the manager and beg them to keep it. I got Brussels sprouts. Normally, I would do these with a the turkey sausage. I'll link that video here too. But I'm going to try something different um, with the sweet potatoes and the Brussels sprouts. My soba noodle stir fry or vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit. It has broccoli, florets, bok choy, savoy cabbage, snow peas, green onions, the soba noodles. You just basically, they're right there. I hope you can see. You soak them in hot water. I like ramen noodles. And then it's a soy ginger sauce. That is what makes this an all-time favorite. And you can add shrimp or chicken, whatever you like, whatever protein you like, or just have it plain. And then I got some sliced bread, some fresh flowers, and dun, 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 drum roll. Dun, 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 what kind of, I don't know what kind of drum roll that was. But anyway, <laughs> drum roll. I got a few Christmas items. When I want to tell y'all, there's so much in Trader Joe's. It is overwhelming. I had to basically stay focused. And I was like, I had um, a large tin can of salted caramels that somebody, somebody bought it for me years ago when I was an intern in, um, in law school as like a, a gift, a gift exchange gift. And it was so Oh my God, it was so good. But I had to put that back because when I got to the register, I saw that they had the same sea salt chocolates for $1.99 in a small box. I don't need a whole tin. I mean, it was like a flat like square, but this will do just fine. So dark chocolate sea salted caramels. Cannot wait to have these. Just, you know, pop one in my mouth when I'm stressed or need a chocolate kick. Um, I need to put this in the freezer, wipe it down and put it in the freezer ASAP. This is the Trader Joe's Candy Cane Jojo Ice Cream. It's peppermint and vanilla ice cream swirled with 
fudge and chunks of candy cane jojo cookies i cannot wait to try that it's all peppermint everything um peppermint chocolate chip cookie mix self-explanatory i probably make these in one of our vlogmas videos and then trader joe's peppermint pretzel slams don't know what i was thinking here i am not a big pretzel fan but these just kept calling my name and the price was good i think it was like one one and change or two and change and oh my gosh y'all know i love coffee tea hot warm drinks this is um what is it hot cocoa ornaments look at that perfect gift i don't even want to open it i think i might give this to somebody that loves hot warm drinks too she who shall not be named because she watches my videos <laughs> but yeah this was so cute i think it was 3.99 or 4.99 but it's hot chocolate i don't know if it's different flavors no yeah basically just hot chocolate and all of them and then if you saw the bedroom makeover the luxury bedroom makeover video you saw that i had the ikea like candlesticks in the windowsill kept forgetting to buy um taper candles so i got this pack of eight from trader joe's i had never bought candles from them before but it was right on the way to the register where everything is when they try to get you and then last but not least, speaking of candles, I always get their Trio Tin can of candles. This year, the scents are Cranberry Pine, Fresh Current, and Nutmeg. Mmm, so good. So good, y'all. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and wipe these down, put them in the refrigerator in the pantry, and then we're going to move on to the holiday pajamas from Target. And I might give you a sneak peek of some holiday decor from Target because I wanna save that for the official Christmas 2021 decorating video coming out in a couple of days. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek of the holiday decor from Target. Um, I don't want to show too much in this vlog because I really want to share that with you for the Christmas video, as mentioned. So these um, bottle brush trees um, are like a natural kind of vibe. A lot like the natural wood that you've seen in my apartment decor videos. And then, as you know, the bathroom and the um, bedroom, ensuite, bathroom and bedroom are black. Black and cream and natural. So not quite sure if I'm going to put all of these in that in those two spaces but you know the black is more than likely gonna go in there because I don't have black anywhere else and these were from the dollar section uh, were these from the dollar section no these were where the uh, holiday decor um, rest of the holiday decor is but they're like under five dollars so this is just a sneak peek see you in the Christmas decorating video coming up soon can't wait okay let's get into some pajamas and then wrap this thing up all right so we have our target pajamas here um i forgot that i had ordered a pants set but i'm just gonna go through them from left to right so starting out with this gray sleep shirt it's like a gown um i didn't realize it had pink in it but i got it in a large because i do not like my pajamas to be close fitting i like them to be roomy um they had quite a few colors i got it in this um, gray. I thought it was like charcoal gray and light gray, but it's actually like a hint of pink going through it. But that'd be cute for like, you know, new start, new year. I'm going to be wearing it <laughs> all year round, but I think it's like really nice for like New Year's. Um, and then this one, you know, traditional plaid, um, popular during the holiday. They had it in like the red and black. I just got it in the black and white because I had, I have some long pants like this. And then when it gets really cold, I could put on the, I think the pants were separates from Target too. But I could just put the pants on underneath this. This is actually the shirt gown. Um, same as the first one with the pockets. Size large. Then the next pajama is same brand. Um, stars and above or stars above. But it's like that Christmas traditional plaid. Um, they had quite a few traditional Christmas plaids. But I got the white one. I think it's called white red plaid. Um, and this one is just a button down flannel shirt. And then the drawstring pants. Thought those were really cute. And a large. And finally, a fleece emerald green robe. The lighting in here tonight is not doing it any justice. But I cannot wait to wear this throughout the holiday season. It was actually on sale. All of these were on sale for Black Friday. These are all Black Friday um, purchases. So I guess you can cons consider I guess you can consider this to be a Black Friday haul. <laughs> but yeah. I'm too excited, especially to pair these two together for Christmas. Yes. So yeah, I'm excited about it. I think it's time to go ahead and fix some buffalo dip and call it a night. Um, 
I went ahead and took a shower before this because I was so exhausted after putting all the groceries away. So now that we've gotten all that out the way, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. It was such a pleasure kicking off day one with you and I cannot wait to see you for day two. Bye y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. You did not have to take the time to watch my little YouTube channel and the video that I posted today, but you did. And you know what I'm about to say. For that, I appreciate you. I can't wait to see you in the next video, but until then, go ahead and click the subscribe button, the notification button, share this video, or just come down in the comments and talk to me. Let's talk, what you got planned for the rest of the week? Are you celebrating the holiday season? Let's chat. See you in the next video, bye.